Yeah, I'm not liking the maze. But to be honest, the maze is pretty bad. All right, everyone, welcome back to the Mobile Corner. Welcome back to some more Street Fighter Duel. And as I mentioned in the last video, I wanted to uh, go through the tutorial here to show you um, how to beat each of these levels on three star. Um, some of them are very annoying, but uh, let's get into it. And uh, hopefully this guide will help someone get through all of these now for this one evil ryu does a lot of damage so what they want you to do is use able skill to uh mitigate evil ryu's damage and then use ken and uh phalon to dps him out now i may have made a mistake here because he's getting his he's getting his special thing okay there we go but yeah, so that's the that's the point of the first one is they want you to use Abel's defense to block uh, or mitigate Evil Ryu's damage and use Fei Long and Ken to DPS him down. Now the second one is by far the most annoying one to me. And basically what they want you to do here, you're going to be fighting two regular level grunts, S-I-N grunts. And what they want you to do is interrupt their, um, they want you to interrupt their special or their level ones with your level one. Now how I did this was I used Yang because Yun's second move will, oh I messed up. I'm probably going to die here. But yeah, let me, let me try again. But basically what you have to do is you have to interrupt you have to interrupt their attack with um, Yang's level one and use Yun's follow up to knock the second guy over. And if, of course if you don't do it in time like the timing is way too precise but I guess that's why it's like the highest level of tutorial. But once you interrupt it, Yang Yun's follow up should knock the second guy over. Like that. And then you follow up with the level two. I mean, with Yang's follow up. Then you wait. Interrupt him. Oh, uh, did it wrong again. See, what you have to do is you have to interrupt, like, right before he hits Yun. Because. You have to take as little damage as possible. Like that. And then have Yun follow up, knock him over. Then you use your level two. Then you wait. He'll come in again. Have Yun follow up. Then have Yang follow up. And then you should be able to finish him off. And it's so the, the it's so precise that is almost annoying like trying to get the timing down correctly now there's probably a way you can do it interrupting with yun first but that's how this is how i did it i, under, I interrupted with yang then i used yun's follow-up to knock the second guy out of his super and then uh i waited for the uh, i mean then i used yang's level two follow-up to do more damage and then i repeated in order to, to take him out. So that's how um, I cleared the second one. And I'll be right back with the next tutorial. I mean with the next one. Now with this one. Um, if I'm not mistaken. They want you to use Ryu's built in. Uh, 
built-in counter attack. He has a built-in counter attack that will uh, go into a follow-up. Uh, it's kind of like an alpha counter. And so that's pretty much what they want you to utilize is where he'll take some damage and he'll alpha counter uh, into a dragon punch. So that one's not too difficult. Moving on to the next one. Now this one, um, this one took some, 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 uh, some, some tries with me. If I recall correctly, you have to, uh, let Dawson build up his, his fireball and then let him shoot it in the next round. Now Seth is gonna murder you as you see and supposedly the DPS from the fire alone will be enough to uh, take him out. Yeah. So the point of this one is to let Dawson, you gotta use Ken first and then let Dawson charge up his yoga fireball uh, till it gets to like a, a, which increases the burn damage and DPS time and, uh, or damage over time. And, um, you survive Seth's first laser beam and the fire should burn enough after he charges it, the fire should burn enough to take them out before he's able to shoot it again. Now I had to do this several times because um, I had to make sure I got the charges correct. But um, yeah, so that's how I got three stars on this one. Moving on to the next one. Uh, let's see, the next one, C Viper. Okay, now with this one, um, they pretty much want you to use C Viper's Burning Jam, or whatever she calls it, to do extra damage. Um, apparently what the tutorial is saying is that it, the burning effect does extra damage uh, to this robot. So, you start off with Ken. Oh, uh, I didn't use the right combo, so I'm pretty much dead here. You have to use the combo that uh, will give C Viper her level 3. So if I'm not mistaken, it's Ken's first one, then Phalon, then Ken's second, and then her third. Yeah. So you have to get use the combination to use her burning jam. Apparently this does extra damage to robots. So that's why I have her in my fourth assist slot when doing a raid events where the uh, like the coin event or uh, trying to get parts for the ride because they're mostly robots. So that's how I got the third star on that one. Um, Honda's, um, basically, and, and trust me, your Honda is very useful, but let me see if I can pull up the, yeah, so basically the move you want to do in this tutorial is this level three, uh, 100 hands attack, mainly because well, actually, let me show you. Um, oh, wait. I did it wrong. And we're all dead. But let me restart before that happens. But basically, you want to do the combination that allows him to use uh, his hundred hands technique. And this is why. Because it creates this wall that blocks projectiles 
So all you gotta do is keep doing his first, Ibuki second follow up, Gal's third follow up into his level three. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, see, and, and make sure you don't do this. Let the projectiles be canceled out first before you start his skill. But just to reiterate, it is Honda first, then Ibuki, then Guy, then the 100 hands level 3. Then you wait and let her projectiles go through. Then you uh, repeat. And then you wait. And let the fireballs cancel out. Then you rinse and repeat until you beat it. And that is pretty much showing the... So if, you, if you're ever in PvP and you got somebody like Ibuki, Ryu, you know, any, any project, especially Dawson. He counters Dawson's fireball because I have done it before where Dawson's uh, fireball literally gets cancelled out by that wall. So he's very good. He's a very good tank for blocking projectile teams. Um, Geef. Um, hold on. Let me let me check. Some. So I believe this one is more to showcase Geef's tanking ability. And if I'm not mistaken, it is to get to Geef's level three. Uh, green hands. So let me see if that is. Did he just throw a banana? But you can start off with him. Yeah. So with that, he can. Ooh. I think I messed up. I used the wrong skill. Yeah. Man, Dan, what are you doing, bro? Let me start over. But yeah, so the 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 goal is to reach his uh, hundred hands. I mean, not hundred hands, green hands. Uh, Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. That wasn't supposed to happen. Now that he's immune... Attack, y'all attack. I, I don't understand. Like, it, I don't understand why he wouldn't attack right there. Let me try using Gal first instead of Han, instead of G. Well, that didn't work because you're, su you're supposed to use you're supposed to use his green hand to prevent uh, basically what green hand does for D is as you see he's actually getting hit by hit stone. but with green hands he doesn't get hit by uh He doesn't uh he doesn't stagger back. <sighs> Maybe hold on, let me Was I I didn't check just now, but I may have gotten um I may have been able to use Guile. And one of one of the one of the things that I end up doing wrong a lot of the time is I get the 
I have the assumption that you have to finish out. As you can see, he's not being knocked back. But you can also see that you don't need to wait for their, uh... There it goes. But you don't need to wait for their skill to finish before you can use the follow-up skill. And a lot of times, I'll be sitting there waiting for the follow-up skill to, uh finish before activating the next when you really don't have to like, but that's how I got three stars in this one and the last one um, basically this one is to showcase Rose um, Rose has a lot of um, usefulness if I'm not mistaken she, um, well, first of all, she, she brings everybody together, but she also creates what, uh, as you saw right there, it's like a, it's like a reflect, uh, it's like a reflect or we're dead, yeah. When the, when the skills don't activate fast enough. When the skills don't activate fast enough, it, it, uh, you, they get a shot off and you die. But, it's mainly to showcase that Rose, Rose has two abilities that I, so, it appears that, you all that's it tutorials complete until next time stay blessed <laughs>